Hi everyone, on uh, this video we will continue from where we left off in our last video. Mm, we will be hooking these three computers up in GNS3 and connecting them to VMware. And also in VMware we will assign static IP addresses to our three computers all on the command line. Here we have a Windows 7, we have a CentOS and we have a Kali Linux computer. So let's get right to it. Our first mission will be to connect these computers so they can interact with VMware so we can use to do our testing on our GNS3 topology so I will open the Kali Linux first and here under the network devices remember the last video we added the network adapters to it so right now you see they all appear after we restarted our computer so this one we're gonna use VMNet1 we add it and that's it as simple as that we will do that for the rest of the computers VMnet 2 we add it VMnet 3 we add it and that is it task 1 is completed so now what I usually do is I will configure the IP addresses first then I connect the computers, then we will, con we will configure our router so all our devices get interconnected. So let's bring VMware and start configuring our devices. We will start with the Kali Linux first. Okay, now this is our Kali Linux machine. I already opened up the terminal and we will edit the, in the network interface file in order to assign it a static IP address. So I always just like to change into the directory it's slash it's in the Etsy directory network and let's look at the list of files they have there these are the list of files the files we'll be working with is the interfaces this is the file which we're gonna edit so VIM and tap completion to do it I already worked on this file so these will this might not be the default settings which you will see on your computer right now but basically to do it you just need to edit the addresses Mm, the IP address we will give this will be let me bring the topology so I can see it so our Kali Linux is 10.1.0.2 so the address is 10.1.0.2 and the net mask the net mask state is, stays the same we're using the slash 24 now for the default gateway, the default gateway which we will use for our router, it's gonna be it's it's gonna be this interface right here. So it's gonna be 10.1.0.1 just for you to see the visual. 10.1.0.1. Uh, these are the basic configurations for the Kali Linux. You can go ahead and add and add other things like mm, you can add the broadcast you can add what else can you add mm, I believe you can add the network yeah to show what network it is on let's just go ahead and do that the broadcast for this let's do 10.1.0.255 and the network with this is going to be on will be 10 sorry 10.1.0.0 10 network so i think we are basically done with the configurations of the kali linux so we will move over to the centos and do the configurations Oh, one other thing before I forget, always make sure you restart networking after you've done these configurations for them to take for them to be active. So I'll escape this, I'll save the file, right quit, and I'll do service networking restart. So it's gonna reconfigure my network interface. That is taking a little while longer than I thought okay and if you do IF, if config right now you will see this is the network address which we just set to our computer so we're done with that let's hop over to the next computer okay this is our CentOS computer 
and just a refresh I'll bring in our topology so we see what we're working on we just configured this device right here and this is the device we're trying to configure right now so the file for this I already cut I already did a cut on it just to see the configurations which I have but let me see the into it it's gonna be in Etsy slash sysconfig sysconfig and network scripts if I L do an ls these are the different files which we have in here now we are working on this this is the Ethernet device which we have that is our network card so we are going to VI that where is it at at the zero okay perfect so this is the device name ethernet zero the brute protocol is what protocol it's going to use and right here it, it's set to dynamic host configuration protocol we don't want that we want to set a static IP address to it so we're going to change that to static now this is the hardware address or the MAC address uh, usually if you take that away it will still it will still work so but let's just leave let's just leave that for it's a test sake for test we're doing a test so let's leave that there uh, the next one is the IP version 6 we don't want to use IP version 6 on this but it's still gonna work even if you leave that there network manager control we don't want this to be controlled by network manager so we put a note to that and on boot yes and type is Ethernet that's correct so right now we'll go ahead and add our IP address IP address let me bring over the topology our IP address is 10.2.0.2 .2. so IP address is 10. Oh. Ten dot two dot zero dot two. The next thing we're gonna put it's gonna be our net mask. This is to signify what network we are working on. It's two five five the network beats two five five dot two five five dot zero. We're using the slash twenty four. And next we will just go ahead and put our gateway here. Our default gateway what it will be 10.2.0.1 just a refresher this is the default gateway on which this network is gonna work this interface right here okay I think we are all set for this configuration so I will save it yeah, I think it looks all right. And then the next script we're gonna work on will be the Etsy sysconfig network. Sorry. Oh, that is a file. Sorry. I had to use VIM. Okay. Right here, head networking is set to yes and the local domain. That's my host name for my computer right here. And usually I just go ahead and I add my default gateway here too. So, we will we'll do gateway ten dot one dot zero dot one oh, no this is our dot two network okay we are all set for this computer 
so we will hop next step we'll hop, we will hop over to our windows computer remember to start networking yeah there's no there is no there's no cable connected to the card that's why I give the error message but if I pull over IF config we have our IP address all set and good to go that's our broadcast that's our network mask so we'll hop over to the Windows machine and we will do that on PowerShell that's what we'll be using to change the IP address for our Windows interface so now this is the computer we will be configuring our Windows oh I put Windows 3 here well Windows 7 <laughs> I don't know why I did that uh, to do this on PowerShell the, the command for Windows it's the net sh net sh let me do uh, ipconfig to see the name of my interface so this is the adapter which we are configuring right now and this is the current IP address so it's gonna be net net sh interface IP set address now you put the name of the interface in in parenthesis I'll just copy that and paste here then we're doing a static configuration and the IP address for this is 10.3.0.2 the net mask is 255.255.255.0 and the default gateway is 192.168. oh sorry it's 10.3.0.1 and if I do an IP config you see that that is a new IP address which we just assigned to this interface uh, I think this is this one is good and set to go I will go ahead and end this video here in the next video we will be configuring this router and connecting our devices to the router and we will start to ping each other now I know there is a mistake there was a little configuration error with the CentOS computer the, in the interface did not come up we will get that fixed in the next video so all our computers can get connected to each other and communicate I hope you enjoyed this video and I would like to thank you for watching